the pineal is essential. They, they, they say that it's just the opposite, right? That it will open your pineal. No, it doesn't. It. Yeah, right. I got it. It does? Yeah. Of course. This is the phenomenon. Yeah, yeah, it's the bullshit. And all assembly of the different psychiatrists and those different groups, they're all encouraging people to start using the plant where, are, where have they been trained? Yeah, right, sure. Yeah. In the most perfect indoctrination <laughs> yeah. 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 institution. Yeah. 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 Sun gazing is one of the basic exercises that the partners tell us to do. And there is a specific cycle to follow. Three days. When you have to go to a higher place here, you have to see, for instance, the horizon. When the solar disk starts to appear, you begin, you begin staring at it. And when the solar disk stops here, gets to this level, you don't need to uh, look at it anymore. Okay. And then it starts going up. Okay. And in the afternoon, the opposite. Oh, that's the opposite. Okay. In the afternoon, you go there to Monte Sana. Yes. And what happens? When the solar disk touches yes. the horizon line, you, you start, don't blink. Oh, Try no. to oh, no. do that. So what happens? I've this. And it's going to disappear. When it yes. disappears here, it's done. Yes. This is the first most basic exercise that the partners tell us. As a matter of fact, they told us that this was a, a, an exercise that they told the Mayan to start with their children. Mm -hmm. To do it with their children. Why? Not only activates your pineal, it also helps to uh, nourish it vibrationally. Because the sun Okay, I'm gonna let it. Okay, let's. I'm sure, but I will. The sun is a technology from the partners. Mm -hmm. The sun and the moon, mm -hmm. both are technologies from the partners. Okay. And they said that the sun, it's a conver uh, converser, converser, converter. It conver it's a converter. Yeah, I'm getting tired from my. <laughs> Sorry, it's a converter of frequencies from higher dimensions to this one, and they gave us a puzzle. They told us this. Observe a cornfield. You plant a cornfield. In a hundred years, how many corn, how many tons of corn you, you harvest? And the land doesn't diminish, you see? They, they are growing, absorbing something to grow, right? Why the land is always the same? You see what I mean? They gave us, the, I don't have the answer, but it has to do with the sun being a converter of frequencies and energy, you know, that are needed for us to be alive, for the plants, for food to grow, you know, for all this. It's extremely important. And another thing, we ask that, it has nothing to do with it, but, you know, so that we sort of start seeing things with different eyes. They said that the sun and the moon are smaller. They are inside the envelope, the atmospheric envelope. And they, I asked, what keeps them in the position they are? Because they, they walk like this, you know, they move. They don't, they don't go around anywhere. They move like this. It's the electromagnetism. And they said that that's why the ocean is salty. That's why 70% of, of where we are is water and it's salty because it conduct, has to do with the electric, ele electrical conductivity. So how often are we supposed to do the, the sun gazing? I mean, it's often three days, the cycle. The oh, basic cycle is three days, but you have to do morning, afternoon, morning, afternoon, morning, afternoon. Oh, no. After that, okay. if you feel a little down, they say it's an excellent thing for depression. Mm. If you're depressed, this is very, you do five days. You see what I mean? It's very important. Another thing that they said, they said that depression is an imbalance in the, the chemistry of our brain. And it can be corrected by this exposure to the sun, by sun, you know, like, it's, by it's not only sun gazing, but also, you know, lay down in the sun, exercise, sweating. You have to sweat a lot. And there's a certain diet that you're supposed to do, too. Like you cut sugar for some time, you know. I think sugar, uh, 
Well, well yes, then, it's, it's implied. Yes. Uh, the ca the uh, simple cards, yeah. but for some time, they said that you heal it. There's no need for drugs. medicines, drugs. This is crazy. They say it's crazy. Okay. what if you, get, you if you do it for one day, it's cloudy, and the next day it's not cloudy, you got to start the whole cycle. You need three yes, days in a row. Three right? days straight. Okay, got it. And it's about half of the sun? No, no, not sunrise, half. Sunset. Sun, sun, sunrise, yeah. you observe. You go to Montessan, you observe yeah. the, the horizon, yeah. the line. Yeah. When the disc appears, you yeah. start observing it. Don't blink. Yeah. Wait till it Don't gets blink. the whole, the whole <laughs> the disc. Whole thing. Okay. Yeah. On the horizon. You know, the whole the thing and the opposite. Yeah. Okay. In the afternoon, when it touches the yeah, horizon, like you start like observing it. Yeah. When it goes so down, it doesn't go down. Okay. So what happens during that period? Well, when, when, you're happens, watching, when you're watching, when you it, watch it without blinking, without blinking, you're absorbing everything. All those frequencies, the plasma, everything enters your eyes, the optic nerve, pineal, and the brain. Excellent thing. This is the basic exercise. When you start the training, you start to do this. Is it, is it more important in the morning or night? No, no. When you do the basic training, you have to do morning and night. Morning and night, morning and night, morning and night for three days. You cannot break. Yes. Okay. Oh, if you miss one day, you have to start again. That's to do it. Three so days. three days in a row. In a row, yes. Yeah. This is the basic cycle. So once you do that, you don't ever have to do that again. I do it all the time. Anytime I get to that, I go to the observatory and sit, and I always do it in the observatory. So it takes three days to have a complete cycle. A cycle, yes. And after, it's just me. It's good for you. All right. It's okay. good for you. In the basic cycle is three days in a row. After you do that, you do it anytime you want. Well, my arms are tired. No problem. <laughs> but you want to be open. Yeah, we are. Good. I would say I do go. Every time I get to the farm back, I do it. Two or three days. But just in the afternoon, you don't need to do both. What about the moon? Yeah, we're going to go that way. Very good question. I'm going to tell you. This is also very important, guys. The moon. The moon and the sun. Now, the moon is linked to the masculine and the sun to the fed exactly the opposite it's the opposite, yeah. it's the op that's why nothing works you see what i mean yeah. it's the other way around the, the sun benefits women the moon benefits men during full moons full moons it's good for all men to sleep as earlier as possible because partners say that sleeping is one of the most important healing tools and men during full moon especially you sleep the earliest possible 8 p.m. 7 30 p.m. the earlier the better so that you will absorb the frequencies being modulated by the moon. The moon is another converter. Converse, converter. 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 It's another converter, the moon. But for men. And for what does the moon affect the menstrual cycle? Well, I don't know. They are just repeating what they're saying. They said that the frequencies of the moon benefits the, 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 the men. When it's full moon, men should go to sleep early. And the sun benefits women. So women, if they can wake up a little later, it's better. So that they are asleep while the sun goes out and stays for, I don't know, a couple of hours maybe. It's beneficial. Very beneficial. It's going to help to regulate our metabolism, both men and women. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because 
Sometimes when they tell us some things, you know, we, we try to expand. They said, not now. This is enough for you guys. And they encourage us to, to do it. Then to feel it then. You know? I've done it. It's wonderful. <coughs> no, no, this Sangezi is excellent. I'm talking about this Sangezi. For instance, if, you, if for instance, on a Saturday or on a Sunday, you don't have anything to do in the morning, you can sleep till, I don't know, 10 o'clock, maybe, 11, I don't know. You just, you know, try. I don't know. That's during, during what? During, during which period? Or any time? Any time. Okay. Any time. Right. For us, no. For us, use the full moon because it's, it's more powerful, the modulation. How much? So you, you sleep harder. It's easier. I think it's easier for us. It's easier than waking up later. But this is something they said very, you know, they were like, it is not as you think it is. That's a little question I'm going to ask. Yeah, about the menstrual cycle, I, I wasn't aware of it.